Um, this is the bottle mould that I got off eBay. It's, as you can see, it's quite big. I think it's about six inches. Uh, I put some melted chocolate in it and I put it in the freezer for about an hour. And this is what's come out, which is not too bad. It has cracked down here. So I'm going to hurry up and put the fondant over this before it has a chance to uh, crack anymore. So I've got my green gum paste here. Which I won't need all of this. So I'll just take a bit off. I'll just need this. I've needed that a little bit now. I've got my rolling pin with my spacers on so that I know it's all going to be the same thickness. As you can see it's split a bit more now. It should be fine once, once I get the uh, fondant on there. Let's get rid of those bits. Just place my fondant over it. Move it down. Just move it right down to the edges. Look around it with my smoother, make sure it's a straight line. Now obviously I don't want this going over the top here because I'm going to be putting red and gold on that. All I want is for it to go around the bottle so it looks like a proper wine bottle. That's right. And then this top part here, I'll just cut round and take that off. Go round with your finger, make sure it's all smooth. So that's the bottle part done. Next I'll get some red, I'll be back in a second. Right, this I've coloured um, gum paste with poppy red. Um, I did have to qu use quite a bit of it, but it's worth it. So same again. I like your gum paste. Cut off the bottom edge. This will be the edge that goes round this part here. And try and match it up best you can. Just rub over it with your finger to get it the same as the green. So as you don't have a lip. Same again with your smoother, just go around it. And then cut round it. And just tuck any bits under that you don't want to be seen. Handy little tools these, good for a lot of jobs. Right, 
Right, so that's your bottle covered. Next is the little gold part that goes round here. For this I'm using buttercup yellow gum paste. I need a tiny bit for this. Roll it into a sausage shape. Measure it against that. A little bit longer. Oops. That should be long enough. And then just flatten it out with your rolling pin. And cut it into a very thin strip. So you've got a thin strip like that. Place it over where you want it. Which is going to be there. And cut it to size. So take off any excess. Just like that. Get a bit of tissue because this can be a messy part and here I've got some royal gold luster dust put a little bit in the lid like so and I've got a special brush that I use for luster dust because if you look it to uh, Makes it go a bit bitter. Just put a little bit on there. And brush it all over that part. Making sure you get the edges. Because you don't want any other yellow to be showing through. You want it to look gold. And once you've done that. Get another brush. Add a little bit of your gum glue, just where you want it to go. And then place it over where it's going. Make sure it's straight because you don't want it wonky and tuck in those bottom edges and there is the top part next is the label if you've got your own printer great stuff if you haven't give me a shout I can uh, print off any image you want it's £2.50 for icing sheets and it's uh, £2 for um, just um, oh, plain sheets without icing. <laughs> Sugar paper, that's it. Um, and it's £3.50 postage. So that's within the UK. If you're abroad, it's £8. Anyway, let's get back to this. I shall just go print off my... Um, photo image that I want to go on here now and then I'll show you that in a minute. Right, I've printed off my own label now which I don't know if you can see it might be back to front actually on this camera uh, but it's my own label it says uh, Barry Cooper Tree Pinot Nior 80 years matured vintage select from 1936 so I'm going to cut this out now and then get back to you. Right, that's cut out now. So I'm going to get rid of it and stick this on. I'll move this over here so hopefully you can see a bit better. I've got some kitchen towel, the strong stuff. And I've just dampened it. I haven't wet it. And I'm just going to rub over where I'm going to put this sticker. Make sure it's only damp and not too wet because it'll dissolve it. Dry my hands. And then find your place where you're going to put it, which mine's there. And just bend it round and stick it down. And put my 
you can see it there. Let's see if I can bend that down. As you can see, it's stuck on there now. Let's try and make sure it doesn't get creases. It's really hard to do on these sort of cylinder cylinder object objects. That looks pretty well stuck down now. And then just let that dry overnight, and jobs are good. And put it on top of a cake. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up and please subscribe because I don't seem to get too many subscribers these days. They just watch them and go. And uh, please leave comments below if you want me to show you how to make anything or if you're stuck on anything. Just give me a shout. I'm usually online. Bye for now.